So here next to me is uh, the small uh, movable chicken coop called a chicken tractor. And uh, this one's a little bit easier to move. So now, since this has been moved, this is what it's all about. These meat birds are able to get access to fresh grass, eat bugs, graze a little bit, and then it also helps the pasture. So their manure comes down here, and in like three days, this grass will be mostly back to normal. Eat this fresh grass. And then I got a feeder in the middle for helping with uh, manure distribution. And then I have a water here. Now behind me, I have two other styles of chicken tractors. The large one is a 10 by 20 foot carport converted into a movable uh, chicken tractor. And then the smaller one was originally made for layers, uh, but I'm using it as additional space for meat birds. So I have to go get my tractor in order to move these. So actually before I get the tractor, uh, I have the meat birds out on pasture for three to four weeks. Um, and that's after they've moved out of the brooder. Uh, the brooder is a safe place for the meat birds to grow out their feathers and uh, get a little bit more acclimated uh, to the temperature before coming out here on pasture. Now yesterday we had a torrential downpour and these chicken tractors were fine. Uh, they, uh, they weren't moved at all. None of the uh, meat birds were injured, which is awesome. Uh, so I'll go get the tractor and we'll move these on the fresh grass. So that's how uh, moving those larger chicken tractors work. It's a little frustrating to have to get the tractor out for that. Um, so I may end up building more of the smaller uh, chicken tractor uh, to be able to move it quicker and easier. Now here I have uh, their feed. Um, so these are about five weeks old. Um, and I'm feeding them grower, uh, chick grower, and it's a non-GMO feed. And each of the chicken tractors get a, a two gallon bucket of feed, and then the larger one gets two. 